Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Kriva, and this is Sid Meier Civilization V Brave New World Let's Play as Brazil. Now, I've done a little bit of research in the meantime to see if uh, there were certain things that we should go for because of uh, the way Brazil works. And I want to check something in the rationalism tree because usually every trait post gives you more science and there was something I saw that gave you extra science in jungle but that might actually just be the university is that true that um, no we cannot see the university in the city yet because we haven't invented uh, education yet but I, I indeed university gives us two signs from jungle tiles so we will have Basically, because we're keeping most of our jungle, we will have so much science as well as culture from the camp, as well as the bonus culture we get from uh, our pantheon. And, of course, the gold that we get from the Brazilwood camp. But it's time to go to the next turn and see if anything strange happens, which I don't assume. But we're already up top. Mostly because of our wonders that were built recently. Oh, someone has built the Great Wall far, far away. Uh, that's not the big issue, so... I mean, we weren't trying to go militaristic, and the Great Wall is good as a defensive bonus. And it might also give some offensive uh, extras. But most, its best bonus is the fact that it reduces the speed of enemy units in your territory. And I can't see. click on it to see it. Uh, Biblos has become an ally of the Netherlands. So, okay, let's give it a little bit more. Uh, oh, hey, look. See, there are barbarians in freaking Amsterdam. Why aren't you killing them? Then I could trade again. <sighs> anyway, our trireme cannot explore any more further south. Oh, Jesus, I'm clicking a bit wrong here because we don't have open borders with Amsterdam and looking on here it would be maybe a different continent will be here maybe it's just islands that lead to the continent but we cannot see them and we cannot explore any further these directions all the way here we might see more here and that's where we'll go next with our trireme so we'll select it it's down here and you just start get over here it has uh, four movements so it will be there in nine turns and for now we don't have to uh, think about it anymore now uh, we've connected these two cities and we'll continue upgrading it uh, hang on we have one worker down here and two up here okay we're bringing this worker back to uh, Rio de Janeiro to uh, see what we can still do in this city I mean we do not want to remove the jungle because of uh, the camps uh, but yeah okay we're almost at the place where we want to settle the city and we'll keep our spearmen in the neighborhood to check on our friendly barbarians that are not so friendly and now it's time to adopt aesthetics and we will uh, start building writers artists and musicians even faster than we already are and we will need them to get great works and therefore get our tourism up. So, oh, and our writer's guild is done in two more turns. And there's nothing left to do this turn. Yeah, our money will go up and down a little bit until we get the trade route back. And we'll just destroy it, thank you. Now it cannot get into my caravan. We might be able to switch the route of the caravan to the right. I think you can do that, but I'm not sure. How? We'll find out once uh, Sao Paulo is done with this caravan here. And uh, yeah. yeah, we do not have our second policy yet, so the monument is still building at the normal speed. But once we drop into aesthetics, we will construct like every culture building twice as fast, which is insanely powerful. And ooh, a golden age. So we. Before we uh, get to flourishing of the arts, we do want to get another great work first. And as you can see, so we'll get the artistic genius beforehand, so we get another great work. But before we even think about that, we really have to get uh, close with... Uh, 
we have to find another place to put our great work. So we will have to get at least an, uh, an amphitheater, as I think, for writing. So that might not work. And you're going to finish the road to Brasilia and give us even more gold in trading. Okay, a farm would actually not be a bad idea here. It's grassland, so it will get lots of uh, extra food. And I mean, the production, it's not the most optimal in uh, in Rio, to say the least. But our, neither is our growth. So after the market, we're probably going to build, finish either the water mill or get the granary out. But the granary doesn't give us the extra bonus until we get these bananas. And... Uh, yeah, and that, that will give us one more extra food, but it's still not a lot. And the Arabian warrior is checking it out here as well. But we are going to settle here. I mean, this would be the ideal spot for a Dutch city to settle with their polders uh, upgrade. But, well, we need this water route available for ourselves. So we're going to force that. And, yeah. Next turn, we'll get our new city. We'll wonder what it will be named. I mean, I don't have a very good idea how Brazilian cities are named, except for, well, the th three of the four we already have. So, yeah, that might change with the World Championship in uh, next year. Then we might know at least eight cities, because that's where our, our, all our soccer teams are playing. And yes, continue your road. Huh. Did we? This might have healed. And it's a. Well, it might be a good idea to explore what's down here and see what the Dutch are up to next to their own territory. So, making sure they're expanding or not. Okay, this warrior we were bringing back to this band. And let's see how our army. We have one of the worst armies in the world, but at least the best army is not close to us. Now, the best. The better thing about. Uh, this expansion is the AI aggressiveness has been extremely reduced it's been it has been taken down uh, mostly because they don't have the gold to buy units anymore and that's what the AI was constantly doing buying new units so they could uh, attack the enemy pretty fast okay it's uh, there we go that took a bit longer than expected Fortaleza I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, okay, the encampment has been destroyed. That's the one that was over here. Probably by themselves, so that's no big deal. Do you have embark? Not yet. So we'll bring this uh, spearman back to our own territory right here. Heal it up one turn as well. And then we'll uh, try and uh, pick off this ruin before somebody else lands there. But yeah, now we have a very good position to secure the water here. And unless Arabia settles right here, I don't see the need to actually buy the tiles. But if, when they do, we will instantly buy these, uh, at least this uh, spot of water here. That, that has to be ours. But as long as uh, it's okay, we're not going to uh, do anything about it. Now, Monument is still 20 turns, but it's still worth it because we do want to expand the city a little bit and try and get to the fishies. And the first one will definitely be the wheat at the other side. So that will secure even more because if the computer doesn't have a resource to settle next to, it will make that uh, spot less likely to be settled anyway. And stone and fish isn't as highly regarded as the um, luxury resources are for them. So, we have finished the Riders Guild, and let's check it out before deciding what we do next. And there's already one person in it, so that also means that we get a ton of uh, workers here. Uh, I mean, not workers, uh, extra culture, it doubles the culture value of the city, which is pretty damn good as well. So it will expand even faster, and we should be building a circus would be very good here. But I really want to get at least a second trade route after my caravan is finished. So we'll start trading with probably with uh, this city here. Um, can't actually see what it's called right now. Oh yeah, Kizil. We'll start trading with Kizil for a lot of extra gold per turn. And now that we have Fortaleza, it is a lot safer to actually traverse this area. And let's see. 
Uh, yeah, we have only two spearmen in total, which is not a lot, obviously. And how is Protestantism? It's still not expanding. So yeah, so our first choice when it comes to religion is either either we say for a great prophet, which will be a chance to spawn at 300 faith, or we purchase a missionary, and that can be done in five turns. So here you see 300 for uh, the chance of the next prophet. But that's uh, going to be fine for now again. Just uh, let's see what happens next. Uh, Morocco has enhanced Buddhism and Reformation been added to Catholicism and it's been enhanced. In other words, whoever found founded Catholicism has finished the piety tree because you actually get a free great prophet at the end of it. So that's basically if you go piety, you never have to wait for a second great prophet to enhance your religion. Brasilia can... Oh lord, there are even more barbarians here. But there's... Uh, oh, hang on. This has a movement of four. One, two, three. Oh god damn it. This is going to be quite the annoyance. And we'll have to uh, get our worker out of the way for now. And our spearman simply has to return to this way to make sure we kill this very, very soon. And yeah, here we will construct a farm. It will first chop down the forest. And as I said, piety at the bottom. It gives you the reformation belief. And when you finish it, you cause a great profit to appear. So yeah, that's uh, a very strong end to piety for that uh, Catholicism founder. And Morocco has si probably simply uh, gotten a second one yet. And we'll quickly look at what they actually have in beliefs, so we know what we can still get. Um, Islam, that would be uh, Arabia, had a pantheon of growth rate follower, use faith to purchase pre-industrial units, as well as use faith to purchase pagodas, which is good, plus two gold for every city. Missionaries and inquisitors are cheaper and missionaries convert units. Okay, so they're going for a big army most likely and Catholicism has gotten Cathedrals they already had so they added the happiness from shrines, which is not what we need, wanted to get and Their missionaries are stronger, which is also not necessarily what we want who all buildings purchased with faith provide plus two tourism So this might be our strongest contender when it comes to our victory choice path and enhanced combat strength near friendly cities that's defensive they already could do monasteries and they took took guru ships so uh, we're pretty safe for the direction we want to go uh, when an, our enhancer belief I always want to choose either faster spreading of the religion or further spreading of the religion and the further spreading is stronger uh, if you have a bigger map obviously because our city of Fortaleza will be very pressured by Mecca, which is the closest. Oh, okay, we're sorry. Our apologies and that we settled near you, so we won't do it again. So if we settle in this general area, we will instantly make the Arabians extremely mad at us. And that's not what we want right now. But any city will be settled away from Arabia and away from the Dutch as well in the coming uh years so we basically just beaconed off our own area the mostest <laughs> the mostest literate people i'm not sure that it, this is actually as it should be or it's uh or it's an inside joke that literate people and then misspelling and the adjective towards it but yeah um unmet player and william are both four techs ahead of me but we are still well among the middle so you're equal with Haroon of Arabia and both Morocco and Greece are at the bottom actually with only 16 oh, and we just finished a horse a horse my kingdom for a horse horseback riding mostly for the caravanserai and yeah it might not it might have been counted as well see this sneaky bastard is running around so if we're now pretty damn lucky we will uh, actually it will take that worker from the Dutch 
and give us a free worker because we, we can then steal it next turn most likely. So where are we going to research now that we have horseback riding? Um, civil service would be very good to get more food in Rio because these farms are next to a river and here are not here are not either so are other cities but it's only two that would be benefited from civil service and but do we need civil service to get to acoustics yes we do so two of our goals are to get acoustics for the brazil wood camp culture but of course also machinery to actually get the campment itself so what we're gonna do for now is we don't have to go to the medieval era uh, necessarily oh right we want to embark people so optics will for now be it and then we can always uh, more trade routes fat further trade routes caravel will be important to discover the other and start our tourism towards them as well I mean this culture victory is a very broad uh, we need a very broad tech race to get to that point that we can do it towards everyone Okay, of course, the Dutch worker can move before uh, our barbarian horseman can, so, but he might still uh, attack me or go through the city. Ah, he's attacking me. And it's a horseman versus a spearman, that, that's a definite win if it's only a 22 health, so. And Brasilia has grown as well. Okay, how much? Oh, only 15. We'll uh, start our exploration again of the lands beyond the Dutch and at the same time start f that uh, road again because silly s silly barbarian was annoying me with it but yeah okay lighthouse will also be powerful uh, because we are getting more and more uh, coastal cities so it's going to be important to actually have those for bigger growth uh, two turns for our next caravan, and I'm gonna like that a lot, so we can start trading again with Amsterdam. There's a lot of resource diversity, so we get lots of money from that trade route. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's one turn heal, and you there. Finish up this uh, pasture. So what are you? Brasilia. Uh, finish the monument, also expand it, which is good. And I guess, yeah, the caravansary is only for land trade routes, so we don't want it in this city at all. Because we can actually uh, go across the water from Brasilia. And yeah, a unit might be useful, but not necessary right now. Uh, let's see, 8 per turn gives us more maintenance, but we do want a temple eventually, so a shrine would not be bad. But uh, either a market or a coliseum. And it's going to be the coliseum for now. I mean, we really need the happiness. And once we have uh, improved these horses, we'll also build a circus. It's because happiness is, in the end, the, what powers our golden ages. So, our caravan should be ready. And we'll start up trading again with uh, Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. All these horses. It's nice that the ambient sounds are dependent on where you are looking on the map. It will give you different uh, sounds in the background. Because, well, it thinks that you're. It basically says you're here. So, But we have so many cows everywhere that the sounds will be cows in a lot of places. Yes, cows. We know. Ah, here it is. Established trade route. We can only do it with Amsterdam, and we're getting three gold and three. Uh, let's see, yes, yes I am sure. Now the question is, how can I move this trade route? Because I would love to put it to go the other way around. Trade routes available. Oh, this is interesting. So here we can, oh, we could have actually come from Rio itself now. Our range has been increased. Sword by gold, Salvador to Mecca. Which would be uh, the strongest to do? What's this? Click to sort by the turns remaining. Okay, so from Salvador, uh, it's it's it has to be a land route though. 
So, but Kiesel will be fine as well. We're not going to get signs, we're getting a little bit less gold, but we're not giving the Arabians four gold per turn almost. So Rio, that would also be a good one. Huh, I didn't know our range from Rio had expanded to uh, reach Amsterdam yet. Finish that pasture up, that would be nice. And production here, yeah, a market would be would give us even more for the trade route, I guess. So yeah, a market. Uh, we already did a circus here. We could still try for the Oracle, but I'm assuming that someone will get it before we even uh, have five turns in it. I think it will be done by turn 135, somewhere in the world. So a great work of writing is indeed in the amphitheater. Let's see. Yeah, we'll do the market. I mean, we, we still want to get some more money per turn, and the markets will help with that. Okay, so... We cannot build another caravan because we're at our trade limit. So we'll finish up the water mill and then build a granary as well, so we can really get Rio big again. And six is very low for a capital city. And at least every person will be self-sufficient because every every uh, hex is giving us at least two uh gold two food and while i said that the oracle would definitely be done within seven turns three different wonders just got finished on the same turn huh and all in a land Maybe far away so it if the moon shine at full or no so the other continent must be quite the powerhouse uh, if it's already doing this well Hmm. Yes, this is uh, going to be nice. And we could buy ourselves a missionary if we wanted to. And, oh, Medina and Damascus. Yeah, I believe that Islam is already spreading. And, yeah, we have to be very careful. And because, okay, our pressure is much higher. Yes, we have to get a missionary just to make sure that our own pressure stays up. And we might see if we have a place to... Where do we get... We can build temples if we want to get even more uh, pressure. Borobudur. Yeah, this one just got built. And the yeah, you would have to have piety, which we don't. A free great profit for Hagia Sophia, but we don't... We will also not get to that. I mean, this is not a race for the early wonders, at least. So for now, we're going to pick up... Uh, engineering and Colossus was already built so we'll pick up engineering so we can actually get another trade route as well that will be uh, in the long run very good and now we have embark on our people oh hello so what can I change your route or how does that work I must actually check if that's even Okay, help trade routes. We're, we're just going to look for it. Trade routes. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Uh, that's a different trade route than we were looking for. So, trade routes. Trade routes are established between two cities. Uh, da, 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 da. Only a limited number. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look like a trade impact of war. All trade routes established are destroyed. Religion spread. Science, of course. Bonus income from buildings, extending range, caravans. Maybe it's here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't show if you can actually change it at all. So that's too bad. Oh well, next turn. And we'll have done 10 turns by now in 25-ish minutes. <laughs> we're going so fast. Oh right, we were going to buy a missionary to uh, counter the pressure of Islam. We can still do that, but it will not refresh its... Uh... There you are. Ah, oh, they put it at the top. It usually was at the bottom of this list. So give us a missionary, please. 
And no, it's not even letting us buy it in between turns. So we'll have to wait for our own turn. We'll buy a missionary and then this will be the end of this episode. And while we cross the river with our spearmen, I'll just, uh, uh, here we go. Yeah, we're not going to remove any of these uh, jungles because they will be more beneficial with camps once we invent those. And let's see what would be the fastest way to get there. Okay, so yeah, sure, we'll try it. We'll see if we f encounter anything that c we cannot run through and improve the stone there. And of course, this is the end of the road on this bit as well. But now that we have our trireme back here, I do not assume we can actually pass here because it is also the top of the world. I cannot move it further than this. And because you can see everywhere on the map, but you cannot go beyond the poles. So I think this is the extent of what we can sail. So we can park uh, our nice boat here to handle our trade route between Salvador and Kaisel or Kiesel. And let's finish up some production as well. Okay, we finished our water mill. And as I said, we have to get our granary next, just to make sure that we get so much food that the city will explode. And this farm will obviously help as well. And finally purchase that missionary. Oh, it has four moves per turn. So we'll definitely do Salvador first, make sure that it turns uh, Protestant instead of uh, Islamic, Muslim would be the correct term. So yeah, that was it.